Hopefully this will work. Ethan, turn around, please. Okay, now your mom and dad know you weren't paying attention. All right, so lesson 5.4 is finding the fraction of a set this time. And the key math learnings here, we'll figure this, are the following. First off, fractions can show equal parts of a set. You'll understand what I mean in a moment. Second thing you can say is the denominator shows how many equal parts are in the set, and the numerator shows how many parts of the set you are counting. So in this case, what is one half of 12? Now most of you should be able to tell me that. Okay. Six. Six. You all agree with her? Yeah. All right, so that's not a problem. So here's the question, Kayla. How did you find it out without saying I know it? So how does that make half of 12, 6? You see my point? It's not always so easy, is it? Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to explore how to find that. Now here's the second one. Okay, so now you know that. What's 3 sevenths of 42? 3 sevenths. Brooke, you look stunned. 47. No. no. But you see my point is that... You can do half of 12 in your head and get 6. Oh, oh, 21. Hey, I said that. All right, we'll get there. Now, you can also do this one here. Some of you do your head, some of you look at stun. But we're going to work on how to do this. All right? So when you're asked to find the fraction of a number, you have two things. One's the denominator. I forget actually. You have the denominator, the numerator, and you have the whole of the numbers in the set or the number in the group. Now, this one here... The top one, the one in the numerator, the one here, this tells you how many counters are in one group. And number two on the bottom here says place the counters into two equal groups. So you're going to take all your counters, put them into two groups, and then count how many are in one of those groups. You understand as we do more of these examples. Like it's actually very easy. So let's go back to our first question. What is one half of 12? Well, we know the answer, six. All right. So what I want to do is start off with what is it, how do we do this step by step? The bottom number tells you how many equal groups to make. So what you do is you make a group one and a group two. You can just label them one and two if you want. All right. But the idea is you make two spaces so that you can count the counters in these two spaces. So now what you need to do is to spread the 12 evenly into these two groups. So if you take a look at that, I'm going to take the 12, and I've got my one here. So I got oh, I did it again. How come that thing jumps off that every time we go to do this? Okay. Well, I don't know. So there's now two, right? There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See how I did that? Yeah. I took 12 things. I spread them into two groups. I get the two groups from this number right here. I get the 12 items to split up from right here. So far, so good? So far, so, far, so good. So we have right here, the 12 is spread evenly. All right. The 1 tells us to count all the counters in one group only. So how many are in one group? Six. six. Okay, so 1 half of 12 is 6. So that's one of the next step. One third of twelve. What's up? I don't expect you would at this point. Okay? We want to done one example. It's gonna take a while. Just, just I'm gonna lead you through these, put your hands down. Alright? I hope I would hope you would come. Do the ones so you can check it with your brain. The question is not the answer. Everybody knows the answer is four. Alright? The question is. How do you get it so you can memorize or, or learn the way to get the answer so next time it's not so easy, you can still do it. So, here we go. The denominator of 3 right here, it tells us to make 3 equal or even groups out of the 12. So you need to have a table showing 3 spaces. So here's 3 spaces. So now, you need to take the 12 things and put them into 3 groups evenly. So you take them and split them out. So here's my little one here, and I've got to take 12 of them now. So there's one in that group. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See that? 
I took 12 things. I put them into three equal groups. So it's 12 things into three groups. And now the one tells us, right up here, count how many are in one group. So how many are in one group? There are four. Does it matter which group you count? No. no, because there are four in every single group, aren't they? So in this group right here, you have four. Okay, so she starts being a little less fuzzy. Probably still a little confused, but not that difficult just yet. And then, yes, it is. All right. Now, what is three fifths of ten? All right. So five says to create five equal groups. You take the ten and split them evenly into these five equal groups. So, so far I've got one in this one. Okay. So there's first five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I've got these all split in here. So we now have two in each group, right? So now I need to know how many are in three groups. And that's what this number up here tells me. This tells me how many groups to count. This tells me how many groups to make. And this tells me how many I'm going to spread out. Okay? So how many do I have in the three groups? Right here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is, so three fifths out of ten is six. Oh. Okay, going on to the next part. Two thirds of fifteen. Okay. How many groups do I need? Three. Three groups. How do I know that? The denominator. the denominator tells me how many to have. Right there. Three groups. So I need three spaces. Right? To that. Now, what else do I know here? Cole, what else can you tell me about this question? Cole. I'm Cole. Sorry, Ethan. What else do I know about this question, Ethan? I put 15 in what? Five in each group. All right, I take the 15 things and spread them out evenly, right? So there's my star, right? So now I'm going to take this 15, here's one, and I'm going to put, and I think everybody sit, knows there's five in each group, right? All right. So now I have to put five in each group. Because um, that's the only one I've got set to be a, a, a clone. Okay? So now you'll notice that I have in each group five of them. So how many groups do I count now? On the next slide. Alright, there we're gonna even up. So how many do I count? I count three. How many are there in two groups? It's ten. So in this case, two thirds of fifteen is ten. What do you think, Kate? Yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. And ask, okay, go to this part. And see if you can tell me what to put in each one of these blanks. Start with you, Ryan. Um, what does the two tell me when I'm saying two thirds of twelve? Two thirds of twelve. It means counting two. Exactly. The two says count. Two Oops, that's not work. Yeah, yeah. Count two groups. So far, so good? Yeah. What does the three tell me, Haley? What does the three tell me on the, in a two-thirds of twelve? You can pick a friend, or you just go and sleep back there. tells you how many groups to make. Okay? And the last one is the 12, Brooke. What? Okay. Okay. The total number that I spread out. Right? Okay, this is the, 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 the items. I use that in the counters. 
you sort into groups, right? Does that make sense? So far, so good. All right. All right. Now, see if you can go backwards. Four is one third of a set. How many are in the set? So, how many groups do we have to make here? Sydney. Three. Three groups. Right, right there. So there's my three groups. How many are in each? How many are in each group? Leon. How many are in each group? Right, four right there. That's how many are in each group. Right? So then what we have to do is draw the groups. There's my three groups. Put four things in each group. And how many do I have? Four plus four plus four is twelve. Let's back it all up. Let's go all the way back and start it all over again. See if we can figure it out here, okay? Four is one third of a set. So I'm telling you how much is in one group of the three groups. Four is in one group of the three groups. You're counting one group and you got four in that group. Right? How many groups? There's three groups. Because the denominator tells you how many groups to have. How many are in each group? Well, we said four. Four is in one of the three. Okay? How many we have to draw the groups? There's our three groups. We have four in each group. And how many do we have? Well, you can see that four and four and four is? Well, so far so good. So there are 12 in the total set. The teacher will now hand out an activity for you, and we have to pause our recording.